Hey, hello and welcome to the Provincial Agriculture and Forestry Office in Champasa. Uh, this is where I am located in a laboratory which we'll just go to now and I'll take you for a tour. Shoes off in Lao. And we've instigated lab safety with shoes inside as in. well. It's a bit crowded in here. We have four local counterparts, myself, who is a volunteer for plant pathology, Lyle, who's volunteering in entomology. And on more than one occasion, we have two interns often sitting inside this small room as well. And there's Panai sitting at her desk. Sabaydi! <laughs> And then we're into the actual lab space. So, yeah, this is where I work on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's where the magic happens. But of course, the, an office and set up like this doesn't survive without other office staff. So we're located within the agriculture section. In here we have other stuff. Hello, sorry, video. There are not many people. I think it's it's just after lunch, so gamlang non bo. Pai Vietnam. Mmm, It's very useful having a handle on Lao language. You can get by. Um, it's a lot easier in Vientiane, but. Um, here and especially working with farmers, uh, it's very, very handy to be able to have a little bit of conversation. And it's a nice language and Lao isn't spoken anywhere else in the world really. There's similarity to Thai, but the Lao people really appreciate it when you actually make an effort. Yeah, it's made my stay here enjoyable, having the language behind me. Um, I chose to volunteer. I'd always wanted to do it. Uh, and. I've never come from a wealthy background or anything, but I've always had the opportunity to learn. And so one of the easiest ways for me to pay it forward or give back is to volunteer. Um, and it's really nice to teach people. It's kind of the old adage of teaching someone to fish rather than just giving them fish. The best experience, I mean, just happens on a daily basis when you just see, you, you're never quite sure whether the information is getting through and then it just all of a sudden there. You know, most recently I've had someone being all like, I don't need to write that down because I understand it already. And when I first started this project, that would never have happened. Uh, and also, and things like farmers who we're not really sure if they ever know whether we never know if our training has gotten through, but finding that they may not be able to do everything we've asked of them, but have tailored the advice that we've given to their own situations. Like the farmer we saw at Nong Sung, uh, Bokeo, who can't rotate crops because she's making so much money off coriander, but she's actually still making time for the fallow period. Um, you know? Yeah, and just seeing the coriander. lights kind of switch on in the, the girls that I work with every day is probably the biggest thing. Laos an interesting place to live. It looks really friendly on the outside, and it is, and it's and so you're like, oh, it'll be so easy to live there, but it's just getting used to the fact that um, they are some of the most relaxed people you'll ever come across uh, and non-confrontational, which makes a really interesting mix. You can't be successful in your work if you don't manage the relationships here. Whereas back home in academia, especially where I came from, you can kind of shut everyone out and work quite easily. But here, if you don't do the hard yards on the relationship, then you won't get anywhere. <laughs> you can't come with your preconceived ideas when you come here. You or be prepared for them to be challenged and challenged in ways you can't even begin to imagine. But it, the challenges just make it even more valuable at the end of the day when you do make progress. Uh, so um, if you're considering volunteering, I think Laos is probably one of the easiest countries to live in, even though there are all those little things that can make it difficult. Um, and you can see change really rapidly. So that's, that's the thing, Laos is, it's slow, but it can move fast. 
um, and that's something really important to know about Laos. So no matter how much day to day you feel like you're not going anywhere, um, if you get down the track and you take a step back, it's quite incredible to see how far you've come. So that's been a really nice component of the work here.